today uh, I am going to initialize a MongoDB replica set database using schema manager. So let's start. Here you can see that I have already deployed a MongoDB database and a Vault server. If you don't know what the Vault server or what the Cube Vault is, Cube Vault is actually a product of App Store. It is a Kubernetes controller for HashiCorp Vault, and HashiCorp Vault is a tool uh, for secret management and encryption as a service and privileged access management. If we use Vault, uh, the secret creation, management, and deletion will be uh, easier and secure. So let's first uh, show the Devo ML. This is the data ML we're going to apply. Here you can see that the API version is kubedb.comp on alpha 2, and uh, the name is MongoDB in DB space. In the allowed schemas field, we uh, have allowed these namespaces. If if the namespace have this level, that will be uh, selected to use this database server. And in this selector, actually select the schema manager. If your schema manager has these levels, that will be allowed to actually use our uh, MongoDB replicated database server. We are using version 4.4.6. The replica set name is a replica set simply. Here is the uh, port template for schema manager uh, port, and the replica count is three. Here you can see the storage type is set to durable, and uh, this is the storage spec. You can see. So this has been already applied. Now let's see the vault server spec. Here is the Vault YML. It is uh, under kubevault.com uh, beyond alpha 1 API version. The name uh, is Vault, which is running under uh, demo namespace. The version we are uh, using of Vault server is 1.9.2. It has three replicas, you can see here. The allowed secret engines field actually uh, allowed certain secret engine where uh, we have set all the namespaces to be allowed and all the uh, secret engine of uh, MongoDB secret engine will be allowed. As uh, ancillar, you can uh, as ancillar you can uh, see that I'm using Kubernetes secret, and uh, Vault server will generate five secret, and the Vault will actually require uh, three of them, which is uh, actually uh, specified here. In the backend, we are using a RAF, and uh, as auth methods, we are using Kubernetes. Prometheus as the monitoring tool and the termination policy is set to repel so that when we will delete the vault server YML, all the secrets it has created will be uh, clean. So that has also been applied. Now uh, we are going to actually uh, apply the schema manager here. So let's first uh, show the schema manager YML before applying it. This is uh, the schema manager YML we're going to apply. This is uh, the API version of the schema manager is schema.kubb.com on alpha one. And the kind is, uh, you can see MongoDB database. The name uh, is schema and uh, the level here set is schema.kubb.com, which have to be matched under with this. You can uh, see that we the the selector here is has been used schema.qb.com mongo and this have to be matched with this. As the database server ref, we are using MongoDB, which is uh, specified here, you can see. And in the config, the name is mydb. So inside uh, the MongoDB replica set server, a mydb uh, schema will be created and we can will be using that. As in the vault server, we are referring the vault of demo space. This is the access policy. Here you can see some service account name. And these two fields is very important, default detail and max detail. So uh, we are, as we are using, uh, creating a database named MyDB, 
this uh, the secret will be created by vault server and the default ttl field is saying that the that secret will uh, be expired after 40 minutes and we can extend that secret time our uh, timeline uh, at max of 200 hours the deletion policy is set to default here in our schema manager one and as we are going to initialize our replica set database we are uh, we are seeing the init stack here the initialize is set to false and uh, this is the script path where our uh, this config map data will be stored in this path it is a slash config and uh, this is the port template uh, of our schema manager port so let's see what this uh, config map contains so that we can get it better this config map contains some uh, database commands you can see here there are two commands i am using first one is use mydb so it is using uh, it is going to say that use this mydb and insert some data of it let's uh, first see the current database status so we are going to exit in the MongoDB and let's use the root credential to actually authenticate between them. So we are inside the database and here you can see that there are uh, admin config qbd system and local four database so there are uh, no mydb database you can see so after applying the schema manager we should see a mydb database here so first apply the config map config map is created in dev namespace and then let's apply the schema okay here you can see that the schema manager in progress you can see the status here the pod is being uh, creating and now this is current so now we should see a database named mydb here and you can uh, see that so in the mydb the content uh, should be the config map here so get config map this is uh, that will be the content inside my db let's uh, show that so use the my db first so collections and db dot people dot my and here you can see that the data has been successfully initialized so that's it, goodbye.